guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and in today's video I'm showing you guys how I style my hair when I get out of the shower and I will also share some tips and tricks with you guys when it comes to curly hair, how to keep your girls healthy, how to keep them popping, moisturized, hydrated, all of that good stuff. So I'm not going to talk too much, I don't want to do these long intros anymore. And if you want to see more videos related to beauty and hair, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I upload videos like these every Sunday. So without further ado, let's just head into the video. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I usually apply my products to dripping wet hair. Like the first thing I do when I get out of the shower is apply products to my hair. So this is my hair without any products in it. My hair has gone so much fuller. I just did a vitamin treatment at uh, Fix Curls again. So I just rinsed that out today and now I'm going to apply my products. Um, but as you can see, my hair has gone much, much fuller. If you've seen the video that I did before on my natural hair and how I wash it, then you can notice that my hair is much, much bigger now and just way more volume. So the vitamin treatments really, really help. And I, I've also cut it after that video actually, so as you can see my hair is much healthier and fuller. So yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about my hair right now. So how I style my hair is I basically just go section by section. Um, right now it's not wet, so I wet it with some water and then I apply my product and I rake it through the curls. Before we get started, I want to say the window's open because we're currently in a heat wave. Today has been much cooler, thank God. It's like 26 degrees right now and there's a little, little breeze. So I'm so happy because we've been struggling with the heat for like a whole week, over a week. We don't have ACs and stuff here because we only get this like once a year. So I have the window open for some fresh air. So if you hear some noise from outside, I'm sorry, but I need to breathe. <laughs> Before we get into the tips and tricks, I want to show you guys what products I use. So. In my last video, or not my last video, but the last video that I did on my natural hair, I used the Quench Leave-In. Now, this is still a very good product. I really like it. When you need protein, you should use this leave-in because this leave-in is packed with protein. However, um, it's a little too light for my hair now. I feel like because my hair is getting thicker, this just doesn't do the job anymore. Okay, so a little background story. My hair was lacking protein, which is why I used this product. But once I was using this, like for a couple months, my protein levels restored, and this wasn't doing much anymore. If I continue using this, I will get a protein overload. So I switched to the Mystic Black Leave-In by Novax. This one does not have protein in it. So this one is good for people that have enough protein in their hair or are currently experiencing a protein overload. So you can use this black Novex leave-in. This one is much thicker as well than the quench leave-in, which is what I liked about it as well. So two days ago I went to the hair salon again. I always go to Fix Curls, which is in The Hague. So if you happen to be in the Netherlands, make sure to make an appointment with Fix Curls. It's located in The Hague and they know everything about curls. So when I went to Fix Curls two days ago, I was telling her how I use this leave-in right now and I like it, but I feel like it could be a little better. Um, and then she checked my um, hair and she was like, okay, you could use some more protein now again. So she advised me to use the Novex Movie Star leave-in. This has protein as well, but this is much thicker compared to the On Jackie's Quench leave-in. As you can see, this is very watery, which is why it comes in a bottle. And this is very thick, which is why it comes in a jar like this. I haven't used this yet. I'm going to use it today. But I kind of wanted to just tell you guys that I only use one product in my hair for styling. Sometimes on the bad hair days, if I feel like my hair could use some extra hydration, I will lock in the leave-in with some gel. This gel is from On Jackie's, the Don't Shrink Gel. And I also use this for my edges. I really like this gel because I feel like it's not too harsh. Um, I also have the hair snot from Cream of Nature, which is much stronger, but that one I use to sleek back my hair, for example. This one is good for the light work, basically. So enough talking about hair products. I am going to use the Novex Movie Star today, the leave-in, for the first time actually, but I trust my hairdresser and she used it in my hair as well. So I feel like it's gonna be fine, but the recent weeks I've been using the Novex Black leave-in. 
Okay, so let me start off by parting the hair. So I also want to tell you guys what tools I use. I use this Denman brush to detangle my hair in the shower. It's completely painless. It detangles really fast. And I don't know, I just like it. And then I use this Denman brush sometimes to define the curls. But this one does that as well. So most of the times I just use this purple Denman brush. I will also check if I can find links to these products and these tools. And I will link them in the description box below. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to wet the section. Also, I'm just looking in the viewfinder. So sorry if I'm not looking at the lens. So now that this section is wet, I take some leave-in. So I use a little like this. And then if I need more, I can always just add to it. And then I just go through my hair like this. Kind of like your finger detangling it, but it's already detangled. Oh, this leave-in smells really familiar. Like, where do I know this scent from? It smells like a... A shower gel that I used to use. Oh, it smells really nice though. It's not too strong. So now I'll take my brush and I just brush through it. And if I want to get closer to my roots, I will use this Denman brush. I feel like sometimes it's a little easier. Sometimes if a curl is not working along, you can just take it and finger... I think it's called finger coil it, like so. And there you have it, a perfect curl. So this is what it looks like. I usually don't finger coil, but if the curls are not working with me, I'll do that. But I'm definitely way too lazy to finger coil my whole head. So I'm not gonna do that. So now that you guys have seen how I do one of my sections, I'm going to finish off my hair while I'll tell you guys all my tips and tricks. So first things first, a lot of people are scared for water. Ooh, a lot of people will be scared here. A lot of people will be scared and I'll name them. A lot of people are scared to wet their hair every day, but your curls need hydration. Your curls need water. Same way your body needs water to stay hydrated, your hair also needs water to stay hydrated. So what I do is I spray my hair with water every single day. This is really important, even if you braid your hair or something, I would always make sure to keep it moisturized and hydrated by spraying the hair. I know a lot of people, especially the old generation, is really scared of like water and they think that it breaks our hair, but that is definitely not true. Your hair needs water to stay hydrated and to keep your curls moisturized. So that doesn't mean wash your hair every day with shampoo. Which leads us to the second tip. Don't shampoo your hair every week unless you have scalp issues. So most of the people with curly hair know that their hair cannot handle shampoo every single week because that will just dry out your curls. However, if you have like scalp issues or something, a co-wash is not going to do enough. Like it's not going to be able to clean your scalp. If you have a lot of product build up or something like that, then it's just not gonna work for you. And that's completely fine. That's one tip that I also wanna give. Don't feel forced to do what everyone else is doing. Because at the end of the day, everyone has different hair and what might work for one might not work for you. So it's good to try things out, but if it doesn't work, don't force it, you know? If you have scalp issues or if you just experience a lot of buildup quickly, then go ahead and shampoo your hair. However, do make sure to use a shampoo that is like good for your hair. So that means a shampoo without sulfates or parabens or anything like that. Also, in between wash days, you might want to just rinse your hair with just water under the shower just to prevent any buildup. That's what I do as well and it really works well for me. Don't use just any conditioner, but use a specific co-wash or cleansing conditioner. I use the one by As I Am. You have the coconut co-wash or the one for dry and itchy scalp. That one might help as well with the scalp issues. So definitely try different things before you grab the shampoo again. Use a satin pillowcase or a satin headscarf or something satin that will protect your hair at night. I got so used to sleeping on a satin pillowcase that I can't even sleep on a normal pillowcase anymore. It just feels super weird. And it's not just good for your hair, but also for your skin. 
Trust me when I say that I notice a huge difference when I sleep on a normal pillowcase as compared to a satin pillowcase. My hair is much less frizzy and my skin is also much less dry. So the fourth tip which also has to do with sleeping is put your hair up in a pineapple before you go to sleep so that you can basically preserve your curls and you don't have to do much in the morning. When you sleep with a pineapple on your head, it will prevent your hair from breaking and the curls will be kind of untouched. You just have to spray it with some water the next morning and fluff it out and your hair will be nice again. You just put it on like this basically, but your whole hair and do it very loosely. So just once like so and then you have a pineapple. Next tip that I want to give you guys is use these hair ties. I don't know what they are called to be honest. I have no idea but these hair ties are the best. They don't get your hair all tangled up. They don't rip out your hairs when you take them out. As compared to the normal hair ties, they don't really leave a kink in your hair. I guess that's what it's called. Like they don't leave a mark in your hair basically. So these hair ties are everything. I have like a bunch of them spread out over the whole house because I just love these things. Another tip for curly people is don't use a towel. Don't use a towel like this to dry your hair. I don't even dry my hair when I get out of the shower. I just apply the product straight to wet hair. That gives me the best definition. It also leaves my curls super hydrated. So what I would advise you to do is just apply your products to dripping wet hair. However, if you do want to dry your hair or if you kind of want to dry it a little after you've applied your products, just use a t-shirt like so and just scrunch the leftover products or the water out of your hair. You can also use a microfiber towel but I just use old t-shirts to be honest, they work fine. So another tip that I want to give is something that I was first pretty scared of because I just felt like it was too much for my hair and it wasn't really doing much and I read things about that it's not good for your hair but I do end up liking it. Hot oil treatments. So a hot oil treatment is basically when you heat up some oil, any oil you like, and you apply it to your scalp and your hair and leave it in for a couple hours or even overnight and then you rinse it out. So I used to be very scared of oils because there was a time that it wasn't really good for your hair or people thought that it wasn't good for your curls. Um, I don't remember why. I think it was like if you apply oil, any other product that you put on top will not get into your hair or something like that. Anyways, when I do a hot oil treatment, I do rinse out with shampoo because a co-wash cannot rinse out the oil basically. So when you do a hot oil treatment, it is important to rinse out with a shampoo. I do a hot oil treatment about once a month or maybe even every six weeks. I don't do it too often because sometimes it can be a bit too heavy for my hair. But I do like it when my hair is super dry and I do a hot oil treatment and it just instantly hydrates my hair. However, what I do do every week is deep condition. Deep conditioning is very important for your hair. Your hair just needs that extra loving and that extra care every once in a while. And I feel like if you just deep condition every week, it doesn't have to be hours of deep conditioning. Um, I actually got lazy with it and I just do it like maybe 15 minutes now. I basically put the deep conditioner in my hair and then just do the rest of my shower routine and then I rinse it out at the end of my shower. But if you really feel like your hair needs some extra love, then you can just leave it in for a few hours and rinse it out after. But I do urge everyone to just deep condition once a week. It's so important and it will definitely help your hair to grow. Oh my God, it's starting to rain. You guys, I have never been this happy for rain. <laughs> It's been so hot in this country. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to say, when you're detangling your hair in the shower, use your fingers or a white tooth comb to detangle your hair. Or you can use something like this. This also really helps me. But don't use... But don't use like a comb or like one of those big paddle brushes. But don't use this brush, for example. This brush is not for detangling. This brush is just for getting your curls defined, basically. So yeah, when you're detangling your hair, either use a white tooth comb or your fingers, 
or something like a brush that's specifically made for the tangling. Don't just use any brush or comb that you have in the house because that will lead to lots of pain and lots of hair loss and breakage. So don't do that to yourself. Another tip when it comes to detangling, don't comb or brush your hair when it's dry. Please don't, like, it just hurts my ears when I hear people, like, brushing through their dry hair. You hear it like, <laughs> oh, it just hurts my ears. It's so bad for your hair and you're just breaking your hair. You're literally, that ripping sound that you hear is just breaking your hair. So just don't do it. My final tip that I want to give you guys is that sometimes less is more. I used to do the LLC method or the LCO method, like where you apply leave-in, then a cream, then an oil, then people like to add gels. Like sometimes less is more. Try to stick to one or two products when styling your hair because it's just not necessary to use like five different products. Try to look at what your hair really needs. You can do all these tests of like high porosity, low porosity hair or if you need more protein or less protein, if your hair is very elastic or not. You can check all of this online. You can find it on Google, how to see if your hair needs protein, for example, because it's just, it's just not necessary. Like it's so unnecessary to do all of that and you will end up spending loads of money. You will not even know which product works for you and which doesn't. Like for example, you can use five products and only two of the products are the ones that you really need and three of the products are just there for nothing really and that's just a waste of your money and your energy in putting all those products in your hair so try to stick to one or two products to style hair maybe like a leave-in and a gel for example and that should do the trick okay so I've done my whole hair so as you can see my hair is super defined and moisturized I'm just going to slick back this part behind my ear one product that I use, I don't really use it during the day to be honest, but I use it in the evenings is the Curls Popping Pineapple Collection, the So So Fresh Scalp Treatment. This has vitamin C and mint in it and it's supposed to grow your hair basically. My hairdresser told me to use this because I was like, I need something for my edges. So she told me to use this on my hairline every night. To be honest, I was doing it for like a month and then I got lazy, but I still do it from time to time sometimes. And when you apply it on, you basically just put a little like so and just apply it and massage it into your hairline. It's very important to not put this on your hair though. Like this is just for your scalp. It says scalp treatment. The first time I use this, I was so shocked because it has mint in it and I didn't know that and my whole hairline was like burnt, well not burning but like a tinkling sensation I guess, I don't know what to call it, but I was so scared but it was also nice, like it just felt like refreshing or something. So yeah, I definitely need to get back on track using this every single night because I did like it a lot and as you can see, it kind of made my baby hairs grow a little. So now that I'm done with the leave-in, I'm going to use my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Gel to do my edges. Okay, so I'm done with my hair. I'm just going to let it air dry. I'm going to go eat right now. I'm going to let my hair air dry. But before I do that, let me show you guys a close-up of how it looks. First of all, please ignore this scar right here. I burnt myself in my last wig video and it, it got really bad. Like, now there's a scar. So ignore that. But... These are the curls. So these are what the curls are looking like. As you can see, the white stuff is the product, but it will soak into the hair. So don't worry about that. As long as it's not like flakes when it's dry, you're fine. But this is what the hair looks like. I don't want to touch it too much. But as you can see, my curls are really defined. Um, they look super hydrated and yeah, I like to air dry my hair first of all because I don't have a good hair dryer and second of all I just am too lazy to diffuse my hair for like an hour when I can just air dry it and go on with my day So that's what I'm gonna do also on day one the shrinkage is the worst So it's already kind of shrinked right now 
but it will get even shorter when it's dry. Okay, so sorry, the card got full. Anyways, what I was saying is that every person with curls will know that if your hair is wet, like when you're in the shower, your hair is so much longer than when it's dry, and that's just part of having curls. And honestly, at this point, I just accept the shrinkage, I embrace it, and you know, Every time I wash my hair and I go out with day one hair, someone asks me if I got a haircut and I just tell them, no, I wash my hair. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Embrace your curls, embrace your shrinkage. That's the message of today's video. Take care of your curls. Let's just focus on having healthy hair and the growth will come itself. Enough talking, I'm rambling now. I'm literally rambling and I need to relax. So let me eat. I'm gonna eat dinner, I'm gonna let my hair air dry and then I will show you guys the end results. If you wanna see more of my daily life, follow me on Instagram at Lillian's Egg Guy and I'll see you guys in a minute. So there we have it. My hair is about 80%, 90% dry. It's just a little wet at the roots but it's nearly midnight and I'm just tired. As you can see, my hair is really full. It wasn't like this when it air dried. I fluffed it out with this hair pick because my hair is really small when it's air dried, basically. So to get some extra volume, I just pick up my hair. However, you only wanna do this when your hair is dry. Don't do it when your hair is wet because it will just get frizzy and it will not really help, to be honest. I used to hate short hair, now I'm just starting to embrace it a little because this is my hair and if it grows, it grows. If it doesn't, I'm just gonna have to embrace it, so yeah. This video idea came to me like super last minute, uh, I had a huge creative blog, but I am so happy and thankful for my friends and all my subscribers, all my followers that helped me out. They sent me loads and loads of video ideas and eventually I found one that I was kind of feeling at the moment. So yeah, I hope you guys like the end results. As you can see, my hair is super soft, shiny, it's fluffy, it's defined, and most of all, it is healthy. We got some healthy curls over here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what else you wanna see. Do you wanna see more hair videos, more makeup videos? I do have some fun vlogs coming up as well. So I'm definitely trying to put more time and effort into brainstorming some video ideas and creating content for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment down below what is your holy grail product or holy grail tip for curly hair. If you've made it this far and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because I upload every Sunday. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!